Welcome to this month's full moon ritual. I am so excited to have you here. And if this is your first time, welcome. I am Crystal Ray. I am a Reiki master, a health coach, and a fitness coach. And each month I post a new moon and full moon ritual to YouTube, as well as do a live ritual on Zoom. So you're always welcome to join us there. The link is below in the description. The moon will become officially full at 7.54 p.m. Eastern time in the sign of Pisces on Monday, September 20th. With the full moon being in Pisces, you may be feeling more sensitive, more emotional, and more intuitive right now. This is a time to really trust your intuition. Right now, it may feel as if things are being amped up, and in a way, they definitely are. Right now is also a great time when it comes to health and healing. Full moons in general are a good time for you to see what hasn't been working in your life and what changes need to be made. So think about this too when it comes to health and healing for yourself. Don't be surprised if issues, especially relationship issues, are coming to the forefront right now. This full moon really may be helping to mark an end of a period in your life. On that note, I feel like this past week has been filled with so much drama, literally so much. So if you're experiencing something similar, just know that it will pass and there's always a blessing amongst everything that's happening. Full moons are a time to release and to let go and that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. And overall, this is just a good time to operate from your heart space and to speak kindly to others and to compliment others. So that's just a little insight as to what's happening with this Pisces full moon and some of the things you may be experiencing right now. Of course, I always encourage you to do more research on your end if you do wanna learn more about what's happening in the sky and what may be going on energetically. But now we're gonna move into our cleansing part of the ritual. So you can grab spray, you can grab Palo Santo or sage, and let's get ready to clear your aura and the room. I'm gonna be using sage tonight, but if you don't have sage, palo santo, incense, spray, any of those things, you could just imagine white light coming into your space or circling around your body. And so we're gonna start with clearing our own energy. Please be sure to get the palms of your hands as well as the bottoms of your feet as those are energy centers. And so as we clear our energy, I ask all energy that is not mine to be cleared from my aura. Please wash away all low vibrations and cleanse me fully. I ask white, pink, and gold light to swirl around me, coating me in love that penetrates to every single cell in my body. I am clear. I am healed. I am love. I am new. I welcome and support from my loving team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so next we're going to clear the room. I'm going to stay seated so I can stay on camera, but you can get up and move around the room. And so I ask all the energy that is not in my highest good to clear from this room. Please allow this space to only be filled with loving, gentle, kind, nurturing energy. I ask this space to assist on my journey tonight, allowing a miracle healing to unfold. I am supported, I am safe, I am loved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next, we're gonna move into our questions for this evening. So go ahead, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, grab some water or tea if you'd like and light some candles, maybe dim the lights, get yourself in a really comfortable, calm, relaxed environment. Our first question is going to be, what activities make you lose track of time and space? And so I want you to think of those things that literally make everything stop. You get so engulfed in it. You're just fully in the present moment. You just feel like there's nothing else, right? There's no space. There's no time. You're just there. What activities make you lose track of time and space? So we're going to take four minutes answering this question. Thank 
If you'd like a few more minutes, then please hit pause. But if you're ready to move on, our next question is going to be, what in your life has been making you feel emotionally overwhelmed, positive or negative emotions? So however it is you'd like to express this, if you'd like to draw with any of this, um, if you want to make a list of positive and negative, however it is that's gonna help you express this in a way that is true for you, go for it. But the question again is, what in your life has been making you feel emotionally overwhelmed, positive or negative? For this, we're gonna take six minutes.
If you'd like a few more minutes with that question, then please hit pause. But if you're ready to move on, our next question is going to be, what makes you feel connected to your inner self? And with this question, we can also think of it as like your intuition, your inner guidance, whatever inner self means for you when I say that term. What makes you feel connected to your inner self? So we're gonna take four minutes for this question.
If you'd like a few more minutes with that question, then please hit pause. But if you are ready to move on, our next question is going to be, if you were completely healed, what would your life look like and how would you feel? And so I want you to dream big. Take out all the excuses, take out all of the reasons, forget it all, it doesn't exist. None of that exists here with this question. In your fantasy world, in your dream world, if you were completely healed emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, all of those categories, what would your life look like and how would you feel? So we're gonna take five minutes for this question.
if you'd like a few more minutes with that question, then please hit pause. If not, we're going to move on to our last question for this ritual. And that is going to be, what are you releasing to the full moon tonight? And so I want you just to think about everything that's been going on, however you've been feeling, maybe even things that you want to celebrate, things that you want to let go of, all of it. What are you releasing tonight to the full moon? We're going to take six minutes for this question.
If you'd like a few more minutes with that question, then please hit pause and please keep on working on it. If not, we're gonna now move into our meditation and I am going to send you some Reiki. So with Reiki, it is a healing modality that is sent via the hands. It's able to transcend distance and time. So I am capable of sending you this healing from my home as you are watching this video whenever you watch it. Of course, if you wanna take your healing a step further, I do offer one-on-one -on -one Reiki sessions virtually on Zoom. So you could check out my website if you want to take your healing to another level. But just to give you some insight as to what the next 10 minutes may feel in case you've never received Reiki from me before. You may experience tingling in your hands or your feet. You may have warm or cold sensations come over your body. Your hands might feel warm or cold. You might see colors. You may see shapes. You may feel as if you're traveling somewhere. You might have your stomach gurgle. You might gulp really hard in your throat. You may feel tingling in other places in your body. Everything is very individual, it's very personal, so we all may experience something different, and we also may not experience anything else besides laying there and having your mind continue to talk to you. So don't worry if you're not experiencing anything, the Reiki is working. All that I ask is that you do lay there and accept the healing that is being sent to you, the healing is being sent for your highest and greatest good, I am not the one doing the healing, I am just the channel. So the Reiki is going to go exactly where it is needed for you, whether that be in your aura, your physical body, your emotional body, wherever you need it, okay? At the end of the Reiki, in these next 10 minutes, I am gonna ask you to grab a glass of water because Reiki does help detox the body as it does realign your chakras and your aura. So. Please remember a glass of water, I will remind you again later. But right now, I invite you to either stay seated or lay down, whichever is gonna feel the most comfortable for you. If you wanna grab a blanket, do that as well. And so once you're comfortable, I ask that you close your eyes and that you place your hands on your heart. And I'd like you just to take a moment to feel your heartbeat. Just notice if it's beating fast or slow. And now I want you to imagine that there's a green sphere under your hands spinning at the center of your heart. Let's take a deep breath in. Take another deep breath in. And as you breathe out, imagine that the sphere is getting bigger. It's expanding. And as you take another deep breath in and out, the sphere gets even bigger and bigger until your entire body is surrounded by green light. The energy from your heart center is fully surrounding and supporting your beautiful physical body. So take another deep breath. Now see this green light expanding, filling up your room, expanding even further to your home expanding out towards your block, moving even further towards your neighborhood, all the surrounding towns or cities, encompassing your state, your entire country, and eventually the whole world. It's all surrounded by this beautiful green light stemming from your heart center. Allow yourself to feel this love radiating from your heart. For the next 10 minutes, continue to focus on this love.
hands back to your heart. Thank you, full moon, for taking everything I am releasing tonight and for this healing. I am grateful and I love you. Thank you, room, for supporting me and holding space for me. Thank you, guides, for your continuous loving support. And thank you, me, for making the time. You can bring your hands to prayer. Just take a moment of gratitude. Whenever you're ready, you can start to open your eyes, come back to the room. Notice how you're feeling. Please remember to get a glass of water as it will help you after this Reiki session that we just did. And of course, if you feel called to it, get outside and bathe in the light of the full moon. It'll be happening the night of September 20th. I'm actually going to be at the Lunar Fair in New Jersey that night. So if you do stop by, if you are in New Jersey, come visit me, see some of the candles that I make in person. I hope this ritual was really helpful and cleansing and healing for you. And I am sending you all the love and all the light for this full moon as for myself emotionally, things have really been heightened. I am definitely sensitive, but if I can remind you of one thing with this full moon, it's to allow yourself to get into that dreamy, mystic, creative space. It's really easy to allow our emotions to consume us and bring us to a lower place, but you are capable of rising up beyond the drama, of rising up beyond the emotions that don't feel well. You can get there by making a deliberate choice and you can choose the thoughts that you think, you can choose the things that you do, you can choose what it is that you are watching and listening to. You can focus on things that help bring you up. And so if you are feeling a little bit lower with this full moon, of course, first and foremost, honor it and then decide how it is that you want to proceed because you have that choice. Always you have it. I hope you have a wonderful full moon. I really appreciate you being here and doing this ritual with me. You have no idea how much it means to me. And for those of you who subscribe to this channel, I genuinely appreciate you and appreciate your support. I never thought that one day I would have 500 subscribers. And so this is literally awesome. And it's so cool to be connected with each and every single one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing full moon and I will see you next time.